When I first started painting, I had a jar of turpentine and I would just put my brushes in the turpentine and let them sit there. And then when I was being really, really good, I would take them out and wash them in the sink, soap and water, flatten them out, lay them out, let them dry overnight and use them again the next day. But you know, if you are that organized, Go ahead and do that, that's great. But I'm the kind of person that, well, you know, they can like sit in the jar of turpentine for days, weeks, months. I had to find another solution because my brushes were going bad. And this is what I found. My name is Vita Evenson and I paint grease. I spent a lot of time putting my brushes in a jar of turpentine or mineral spirits, whatever it is that you use, and I would just let them sit there. Uh, I got um, a couple of little gadgets because I thought that would help me out as well. Uh, here's one of them. I used one of these in the beginning. You know, it's this uh, container with a screen. Fill this up with your turpentine, you have the little screen in there, and then and you take your brush and you wipe it in. You can stick it in this little contraption thing. And it just kind of sits there and holds it, but it was kind of a pain in the So I didn't really use it and ended up back with a jar of turpentine and my brushes sitting in it. And of course, days would go by and um, you know, yeah. So I had to figure out a solution. And this is what I thought. The more my brushes sat in turpentine, the worse they got. They started getting more flayed, they would break off and get old much faster. So I came across an idea that is, uh, has saved me. It actually has saved me. Uh, not 100%, but in a big kind of way. And that is this right here. <laughs> Can you see that? These are my brushes with paint on them from my painting in a jar of linseed oil. Yeah, and here's the thing. It doesn't even have to be high quality linseed oil because I don't take the brushes out of the linseed oil and paint with them. I take them out, wipe them off with my paper towel put them in the turpentine, rinse them off. The paint is already diluted and pulled away from the brushes anyways by sitting in the oil. Wipe it out and paint. Yeah, it's a great thing to do. Here it is in action. As I'm painting, uh, I leave my brushes in this linseed oil and you know, this has been around for a month. I just keep using it and I just pull it out and wipe off the brush. It's soft, oily, and the bristles are cared for. And then I will wipe it in my turpentine, getting all the extra stuff off and it is ready to go. And you know, these are really old brushes and having found this solution has been really helpful. It's extended the uh, longevity of my brushes quite a bit. And I'm, I'm hard on my brushes. I'm not a careful painter. I wear them down. So this solution has been really, really helpful. After cleaning the brush in turpentine, there is still a softness about the bristles. The paint is gone. And I know that my brush is in great shape for the next layer of paint. So you see, this is a great idea. First of all, you protect the bristles of your brush, the quality of your brush, because it's soaking in oil. And as a side, if you haven't got any linseed oil, you can use any kind of oil, corn oil, sesame seed oil, avocado oil. They say not to use olive oil, but hey, you know, if you're stuck, go ahead and use it because you're not taking the oil in the oil jar and using it on your painting. You are cleaning it off in the turpentine. So you're starting out with a clean brush every time. 
So it doesn't have to be expensive linseed oil. It doesn't have to be refined linseed oil. I go to the local hardware store and buy inexpensive, unrefined linseed oil and stick it in my jar. But you know, when I'm painting a painting, I'm not going to go every night and wash the brushes and lay them out flat and let them dry and use them again the next day. I stick them in the linseed oil and then I come back the next day, wipe it off, rinse it off in the turpentine and continue my painting. When my painting is finished, I'll take my brushes I give them a good washing with the soap and water. I lay them out, I flatten them and, you know, make them all purty and come back the next day and have my brushes again. So the linseed oil will help the bristles of your brush stay fresh and new. They won't dry out in the turpentine. They won't break and splinter and just get all messed up. That's my quick tip of the day. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you do with your brushes. And are you one of those neat people and go in and clean and wash your brushes every day? More power to you. I am not there. Not yet anyways. Don't know if I ever will be. I can just love myself the way I am. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Be inspired. Be creative. Be you.